Uh, I suppose I actually call her my nana. Uh, you know, that's kind of really a, a cute name to have for her, but she was known, known as my nana, and she was such an independent, strong woman. She actually lived by herself all the way up until she passed away, which I just, now in hindsight, I'm a little bit older. I'm like, wow, what a strong woman. She did everything herself, even up till the time where we put her into the nursing home. She was driving away, like making on her own meals, like, and we'd always be conscious of checking in on her, but she was always like, oh, I'm fine. But you know, I really like miss just kind of calling over and, and checking in on her and having a cup of tea. I think Alzheimer's disease affects like, nearly every family. Someone knows someone that's been affected by it, whether it's a neighbor or a family member or something like that. And my family is obviously one of them, but it was really stressful for everyone. I could see my mom and my aunts and uncles trying to take care of my Nana. It just was so stressful and so tense, like because you care about the person so much and you just see them deteriorating every single week and you're just getting so sad, but you want to be strong for them. I actually remember really specifically Christmas time, she was in the house and usually she'd come in, she'd embrace you with a big hug and kiss and give you a present and stuff. And I came in and, and she was standing in the kitchen and she looked at me like that, really confused. And I was like, Nana, are you okay? And like took her like a good couple of seconds to realize, oh Greg, like, and I, that was when I first realized, okay, she's not okay. Um, and very soon after that, she went into a nursing home. Unfortunately, I wasn't there. And I actually feel like a bit of a fool for not being there, like being around the family. They were all there taking care of her in the nursing home. And I was actually on Love Island at the time. When you're going into Love Island, you're not allowed to tell anyone you're going in. And I was with my team at the Olympic qualifier. So after that, I had to try and get away from them to tell them I was going home. But when I was actually going into Love Island, so I told them, I was like, my granny's really sick. I have to go back to Ireland. And then I didn't fly back to Ireland. I flew into Majorca and went into the villa. And obviously the lads loved that. Like, oh my God, he's on Love Island. But then unfortunately, like three days later into Love Island, my Nana did pass away then. And I was just like, I felt like such a fool and such an idiot. But I just felt really, really bad. If I told her I was running the London Marathon, I think my nana would have said, I'm an idiot. Because <laughs> it's just like, marathons are tough, man. And I think like there's no way, no two ways about it. Like you have to put in the work and it's grueling. But the fact I'm doing it for her, I think she'd secretly love it. I'd like to think that she's looking down and she's like really, really appreciative of it. Um, so yeah, I, I'm hoping I can finish it now. I'm sure I will. And that's my goal is to just get to the end. I'm not even trying to go for a time here and just raise some, some money for Alzheimer's Research uh, UK. There's nearly a million people living with dementia in the UK and I think there's nearly 50 million worldwide and they just need the support. The research has got, has got to be there to help these families earlier and help these people. And I just think if I can do a little bit to help that, like I'll just, I'll just feel like I did my bit and I think my Nana would be proud of me.